Let's create a Photoshop landscape painting, learning how to use texture brushes. Download my brushes using the link in the description. This is a quick marker sketch that will be used as a starting point. This line drawing shows the background mountains are modified. Let's start with the background. Choose the foreground color and then a background color. Press G for the gradient tool and then choose basic linear gradient, going from the foreground color to the background color. Click press shift and drag to create a vertical gradient. Use the midpoint to modify the gradient to your liking. Then right click on the layer and choose merge down. Press L and choose the lasso tool. Following the line art, select the foreground mountains. Press Shift to select more areas. Press Shift again to add this part of the mountain. Then press Option or Alt to remove selections. Notice the minus sign next to the cursor. Go to Layer, New, Layer via Copy to duplicate the selected area. Hide the background layer to see the new layer. Go to Image Adjustment Levels and move the midtone to 0.4 to darken the layer. Then press L for the lasso tool and select the midground mountains. Select the background layers. Layer New Layer via Copy to duplicate the selected areas. Image Adjustment Levels and move the midtone to 0.55 to darken the layer. Make sure the midground mountains are lighter than the foreground mountains. Select the background layer again and then use the lasso tool to select the background mountains. Layer New Layer via Copy to duplicate the selected areas. Image Adjustment Levels and move the midtone to 0.8 to darken the layer. Hide the line art. You can see these layers create a nice sense of depth. Rename the layers to make it easy to find the right one. Select the foreground mountains. Go to Image Adjustment Hues Saturation. Decrease the saturation a little. Reference photos. Always use good reference photos to guide you. Don't blindly draw something you have not studied or memorized before. Next, we will add textures to the foreground mountains. Press O and choose the Burn tool. Choose Watercolor Salt 2 brush. Enlarge the brush size and add textures to the foreground mountains using 10% exposure. Go over several times to produce a more natural look. Press 5 to increase exposure to 50% and darken the shadow areas. Turn on the line art sketch and use the lasso tool to select the rock crevices. Image Adjustment Levels to Darken, Deselect. To soften the sharp edges, go to Brushes, Blend, and choose the Rough Brush. Selecting this brush will switch the tool automatically to the Smudge tool. Enlarge the brush size and make sure to lock the transparency. Turn off the Line Art Sketch. Blend and soften the edges. Locking the transparency keeps the edges of the mountain from being softened by the smudge tool. Next, press O and choose the burn tool. Darken while adding more textures. Switch to the fuzzy edge brush and lower the exposure to 20% because this brush will darken more aggressively. Darken shadow areas more while changing brush sizes when needed. Use the lasso tool 
to select bright side of the mountain. Image adjustment levels to brighten. To soften the sharp edges, go to brushes, blend, and choose the rough brush. Use the smudge tool to blend and soften the edges. Switch to the dodge tool and choose the fuzzy edge brush. Add bright textures using various brush sizes and exposures. Press B for the brush tool. Use watercolor salt 2 brush to add multiple colors to different parts of the mountain. Next, use the same brush, dodge, and burn tool techniques to add textures and details to the mountains. Add a new layer and name it Plants. Press B for the brush tool and then choose the Leaf 2 brush. Pick a dark green color and start adding plants all over the rocks. Change colors and brush sizes as needed to give the plants a more natural appearance. Add a new plant layer and choose the lighter shades of green, then paint in lighter shades of leaves over the dark ones. Change colors and brush sizes often. Next, use the same brush, dodge, and burn tool techniques to add textures and details to the mountains. Flip the canvas and paint will give the artwork a more balanced appearance. Add a third plant's layer and add bright flowers. Add a new layer and paint in some waterfalls. Add textures and details to the mountains. Next, use the same brush, dodge, and burn tool techniques to add textures and details to the mid-ground and background mountains. To add water reflections of the mountains, select the Mountain 2 layer. Click hold and drag the layer to the plus icon to duplicate it. Go to Edit Transform Flip Vertical. Select the Move tool. Click hold and drag the layer down to line up the base of the mountains in the middle. Move this reflection layer below the Mountain 2 layer. Press M for the Rectangular Marquee tool. Click Home and drag to select the center reflection. Select the Mountain 2 copy. Go to Layer New, Layer via Cut to cut the selected area to a new layer. Select the Mountain 2 copy layer and move the right side of the reflection down until it lines up with the base of the mountain. Select Layer 1 
right click and choose Merge Down. Select the Mountain 3 layer and duplicate it. Move this copy below the Mountain 3 layer. Go to Edit Transform, Flip Vertical. Use the Move tool to move the reflection down to line up with the base of the mountains. Rename the two reflection layers. Select the Mountain 2 reflection layer. Go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Change Angle to 90 degree. Distance to 100 pixel. Apply the same motion blur to the Mountain 3 reflection layer. Move Mountain 2 reflection layer below Mountain 3. Select both reflection layers. Menu, New Group from Layers, and name it Reflection. Add a Level Adjustment layer. Type 0 0.7 to the midtone to darken the reflection. Move the Levels 1 layer above the reflection group. Click the arrow to limit the adjustment to one layer or group below. Use the Dodge tool with a round brush to add some waves to the water surface. Use the Smudge tool with the round brush to create some ripples to the reflections. Continues to add textures and details. Go to Image Adjustment, Color Balance, choose the highlights and type 20 to add more red to the foreground mountains. Go to Image Adjustments, Color Balance, choose highlights and type 10 to add more red to the midground mountains. Continue to add textures and details until you are satisfied with the artwork. I hope you enjoy learning how to create a Photoshop landscape painting. Have fun creating your own masterpiece.